All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and bats alike, welcome back to another interview to meet the community. Today, we've got a special guest, the team manager of Team Simpsons, Simpsons Nami. Nami is actually a professional who's playing Mobile Legends and managing a team. So how are you doing, Nami? Doing good, Dave. Thank you for having me. How are you? Fantastic. Now, before we get started, why don't you go ahead and tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? Because uh, I know you're a professional and I think a lot of viewers are interested in knowing more about you behind the gameplay itself. Hello, everyone. I'm Nami, the team manager of OSB, also known as The Simpsons. I'm going to represent my team in this interview. Um, I work in the... Actually, I'm work. I work in the hospital, as you can see on my outfit. I work two jobs. Um, I play ML from time to time. Um, yeah, I'm working in the medical field. I started playing ML when I was in the Philippines just for fun. Yeah. Um, I really don't care about win rate or stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got here, I stopped and pandemic hits. I just like started playing ML again, yeah. and that's when I got hooked by ML. I joined the Discord community, played with different pro players, made friends, yeah, yeah. joined different squad, and I just like started managing teams last NCAT summer season. Yeah. Until now, I manage teams. They joined this M4 NCAT. And one of them are is the Simpsons. That that is amazing, by the way. The fact that again, I just admire the fact that you're working two jobs and also helping the community, managing the teams, helping them get organized. I mean, what are the boys gonna do without you? Now, one thing that I want to ask is what you said you got hooked during the pandemic. So, what part of the game that actually got you so interested in playing and eventually decided to even get more involved and become a team manager? Um. Because, you know, um, there's like young lang young teenagers like spend their most of time in video games. And I just want to be like, uh, like not really boss, but to become <laughs> a, one of their good example to be a good leader. Um, so, yeah, I like playing um, like try different stuff on ML. Yeah. Like, I am in a multiple like role, but I I am a main mage, a role player. Uh -huh. I like Jul I like Julian. I like Atlas. Uh -huh. Um, Ooh. and I I do jungle sometimes. I prefer Ooh. not to, but if my team likes me to do it, then they'll do it. You know. <laughs> what do you play in the jungle? Julian. Julian. Okay. Julian Bamun. <laughs> Something like that. Oh my God! A meta slaves. God damn it! Another person who got sucked in by the meta. All right, you know one of the Layla Hunzo players. Okay, so <laughs> the question I was asking is like, what got you so interested? Is it the gameplay? Is it the skins? Is it the community? Why are you interested in Mobile Legends and then you know eventually decided to get more involved? The gameplay, the tournaments, what? Um, yeah, the Discord community. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It's really different in the Philippines, you know. Um, in the Philippines, the uh, MP elder is really, you have a like huge like crowd yeah, yeah. to watch you during yeah. the tournament. Yeah. But here, it's different, you know. Yeah, yeah, obviously, here is like we mostly have online. And this year is our first ever offline tournament in Las Vegas. I'm excited. I think your team is doing fantastic. So tell me a little bit about Team Simpsons, right? Uh, what mm -hmm. What do you think about your boys that is that are playing on the battlefield? Uh, what 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 do you think about the team overall? Uh, where do you think the team is going to be placing? Because right now they're in the loser bracket. This is their last chance. They have to really just step like step it up. If they win, they proceed. If they lose, they're out of the tournament. So is what do you think about the boys so far? Um. The Simpsons is like really a solid team because yeah. their roster haven't like been changed. Mm. Um, they've been competing tournaments for over four years now, so yeah. that's what I really about like about them. Yeah. And they already build that synergy, so 
Uh, I think they can like made it to like top or the semifinals, you know. Maybe even Vegas. Okay, okay. Uh, my maybe, question maybe. Is, if I don't want <laughs> to put that expectation to them, you know. <laughs> but you still believe though. You still believe, right? You still believe I, in the boys. Okay. So my question is if Team Simpsons make it to the grand finals in Las Vegas and then they invite you as their team man team manager to go, right? Are you gonna go with the team? Of course. I'm gonna support my team. <laughs> All right. All right, this is exciting. So uh, let me ask this. Besides Team Simpsons, um, uh, among all the teams in North America Challenger tournament so far, the top eight especially, uh, what teams do you think are going to give uh, Simpsons like, you know, run for their money, like the biggest challenge? Um, TV, Gosu. Yeah. Like the famous... Ackerman? You know, Ackerman, yeah. yeah. They've been doing scrimmings with them, so I see, like, results. <laughs> All right. One last question I have is, is there anything else that you want to say to the community uh, that supports Team Simpsons? Because we obviously want to build a community where it's really positive, people support each other and get to know each other. So anything that you want to uh, say to the viewers who are supporting Simpsons the whole, the, along the whole way, and then the new followers that might be supporting Simpsons going forward in the NA tournaments? Um, I would like to congratulate all the teams who made it from qualifiers to top eight. Yeah. And thank you for all who support us throughout this league. Um, my voice, Paulin, Nate, Damien, <laughs> Promise, Coward. I'm so proud of you guys. I know you're busy with work, school, stuff. But you didn't give me a hard time whenever <laughs> I set set up screams for you guys to practice. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like to take this um, opportunity to thank you, Blazer, for the trust and choosing me to manage this team. Um, oh. Whatever whatever happens um, in the tournament, please remember I'm always here oh. for you guys to support. And yeah, just do your best and have fun. I melted. That was so horrible. <laughs> this is supposed to be a professional interview. You know? Okay, okay, okay. You know, now you mentioned that, it actually reminded me to ask one more question. Uh, the training schedule like, because everybody in, on Team Simpsons, you mentioned people have work, people have school. And then like, so how do, how do Team Simpsons even train? Like, how do you schedule scrims for them? Like, when do you schedule scrims for them? And how, or how often? Like, they've been like screaming every day. Since Ooh. like I I I scheduled them like seven. They do screams one or two. Wow! So every day, like one two screams, like that's yeah. Oh, that's the and that's like outside of work, outside of school. So basically, like I guess midnight, like late in the evening, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like around this time, like after their work or oh my their God. school. Yeah. That is crazy. I mean, that just shows you like the dedication any community is putting into this tournament. But again, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. A big shout out to Simpson Nami for being here representing the team. That was a fantastic interview. Thank you so much for giving us all this insights into the, the, the pro teams in North America, upcoming stars in North America. And make sure to like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells. And follow Team Simpsons with all the link in description. We'll all have all their contacts so you can go join our Discord, follow their social media, so you can follow their future tournaments uh, in North America as well. So with that being said, uh, since I'm setting off once again, big shout out to Simpsons Nami, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.